So, after I showed you Zoe trying out the prune cocktail crisps, I um, went to sleep and uh, now I woke up quite a while back. It's like almost quarter to five. Like quarter to five? Quarter to four, I'm thinking. Quarter to four. At least I think so. If it's quarter to five, that's ten of late. Wait, 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 let me check the time on my phone. What the time is? Oh, shit. Quarter to five. Okay, so quarter to five. I've got work at eight, but I woke up around 12.30ish. Woke up, edited a little bit, um, did a bit of washing, and then I headed to the gym, did my cardio, abs, a little bit of calf work, and I went and got my package as well. Got a package from my protein. Um, I bought some things from there, and yeah, that's what I'm about to show you guys. Let me show you, let me show you. Bam! That's the package right there. Oh, you see that? My protein. So, I bought some fancy protein shake and I bought a pre workout. So, this is the first time I will ever be trying pre workout. Um, as you know, tell a lie, I tried it a couple of days ago um, at the gym, the ones that they sell at the gym for like 15 kroner. It was pretty cheap. I tried one, didn't do shit. Uh, maybe it's because I'm bigger than every size. So that one didn't do nothing to me. But yeah, I'm gonna try these, this one. And it's mango passion fruit. I like the actual BCAAs, mango passion. So I thought, why not get the pre-workout? Orange mango passion, orange mango passion, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna try this uh, tonight when I go to the gym with uh, Jackson, a newcomer. Uh, he hasn't trained before. Not to my knowledge, but I'm gonna train him today, show him the ways and that stuff at the gym tonight. After work, we both work together, so we're finishing at the same time. So it makes it easier. So as soon as we finish, we're gonna go head to the gym and hit a, I'm gonna show him the classic way, chest and triceps, then back and biceps, then shoulders, then legs, like that. I'm gonna take it easy with him, if he's a new, cause he's a newcomer. And yeah, there's the protein I bought. 2.5 kilograms uh, vanilla flavor and there was obviously a sale on my protein um, it was like 20 25% off which is nice so here we are I'm in the gym got Jackson over here he's ready uh, we're gonna start with chest and triceps so we're gonna start with bench I'm gonna show him the ways you know I mean little techniques and stuff and yeah let's get into this let's get this so welcome back to another commentary whilst it telling you Jackson here was that the bar needs to be in line with your eyes, you don't want to be too back, you don't want to be too forward. You want to be straight in line with the bar, your eyes. Like, and the width needs to be a little bit further than shoulder width. You almost want like an L shape. And you like that, like I'm showing you here. And another thing that I was telling him is that your back needs to be have a little arc. You don't want your back to be totally flat on the bench. Um, that's just not the way to bench because you have a little arc. And when you're pulling down, you want the bar to go just at the bottom of your chest, just there. You don't want to go right on top of your chest. You want to go just a little bit, but just on at the bottom of your chest. That's where you should go. And you want like a little arc. That's what I'm telling you here. You don't want to go straight up. You want like a little arc. Now it's time for him to give it a go. So I'm liking his form really well, but I think that he misunderstood what I was telling him at the beginning. Um, he was doing everything I told him, but here when he goes up, as you can see, he goes all the way back. And I don't want him to do that. So I show him again, and I tell him that he has to stop here. So like, not all the way back like that, because that's what I saw him doing. And he's a very good listener, Jackson. So I'm saying I'm, I'm saying it's my mistake at the beginning not explaining it 100 percent to him. Um, but his form was really good as because he's asking me questions. But you don't need to go all the way back, you just need to go boom, straight up, bam, like that. Yeah, above your chest. There you go. That's, that's what he's saying to me, is like above your chest, that's exactly what you want. Boom. You don't want to go too back. Now it's time for him to give it a go. Because I said to him that if you do that, start going all the way back and you're going to involve your shoulders a bit more. And this is a bench press, we don't want to in involve the shoulders. Like again, I'm showing him again just to make sure he understands exactly what I'm saying. Boom. Straight above my chest. Because we don't want him to get no injuries at the beginning. We want him to like 
which is a chest exercise, not a shoulder. Because when you go all the way back, you start to extend the shoulder and the shoulder starts to get activated. And that's not what we want. We want, just want to focus on the chest. And there's a lot of people out there that actually feel bench on their shoulders, their arms, and don't feel it that much in their chest. Uh, that's part of the reason why I personally don't even, I'm not a big fan of bench, but I do do it. It's a compound movement. It activates the triceps, activates the chest, lats, everything has to be involved. Like the power comes from all over. As you can see here, this is his second time. It's much better. He's still a little bit back, but again, this is the first time he's benched in life. Never, I don't think he's ever benched before. So, one thing I've noticed about Jackson already, he's doing a good job. He's one of them, he's one of the practical people just like me, that you have to show them and then they can repeat it instead of just explaining it to him. So that's a good sign. Also, he breathes when he does the exercise. A lot of motherfuckers forget to do that shit. Another thing I'm really impressed about Jackson is the balance he has with his bench. Normally you see people doing bench press, especially newcomers, it'll be one-sided. It'll be going left or right because they can't control it because they're not used to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you, you're doing a really good job, bro. Because even me, myself, when I started doing bench for the first time, I was all over the place. I, the balance was just wrong. Because normally one arm is stronger than the other. So you're just like, this one explodes and this one just kind of behind. You can kind of see it. But yeah, with you, stay well. Keep going, we've got like one more set of this and then we go to another exercise. Here we have the tricep cable extension and I'm showing Jackson that there's different versions of doing this, of exercise and I have my favorite, which I'm gonna show him here, is the kind of bending over one and then pull it straight down, keeping your elbows tucked in and everything. And then there's this version as well, standing straight and just pulling straight down. I told him I like them both, but I do prefer doing the other one. I do mix it up during my training. And here I'm watching Jackson do it himself. And as you can see, he's bringing his elbows up a little bit. And this is just him trying out both exercises. So he did the first one and he brought his elbows a little bit. So I was telling him this time, try to keep your elbows tucked in there and don't move them from that position. And then as you can see here, he goes, oh yeah, I feel it. <laughs> so he feels it. It's, try and keep the elbows tucked in. There you go. Yeah, he said he could really feel it. <laughs> but yeah, he said he preferred this position instead of the other one. Here, what I was saying to Jackson is you want to be sending signals to your tricep. Um, you don't want to be like here, swinging, 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 like you see quite a lot of people do. You do too heavy and just swinging, not really working the tricep. But the key here is to basically shock the tricep and just keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. That's it. He's saying, I was telling him, like, leave your ego outside. The forearms. So the key is try to keep your elbows in one position. Don't move it. You don't want to go too far because we've got two fuckers like this and shit. Yeah. Because when you do that, like this, yeah. and you go here, you want to stop here. You want to go here. Because when you go here, it's like a resting position. Because uh, okay. you your arms are not working. So when you go like this, you go here. Boom again. Okay. The thing is, you, you, you can't you keep shocking it. Shock, shock, shock. You don't want it to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's reduce the weight. <laughs> Go. So, we're doing incline with the dumbbells. Um, we did first set. I like Jackson's form, it's going well. I told him to do another set with it. And if he can do more than 10, then we're going to up the weight. Because obviously, we want to keep our rep range from 8. 12 reps and if he's doing like 15 that's we don't want that we want him to actually push the muscle you know what i mean we don't want it to be easy we want it to we want, we want you to have a little bit of not pain but you know we want you to feel the muscle working you know what i mean so that's what we're gonna do he liked the way the first one and he said the last three really he could really feel it in the chest so i'm gonna tell him to do another set which we're gonna do now and then after that we see how he feels if he feels like he can do more we go get them 12 12.5s put them to work if he feels like the 12.5s are too easy we gonna get them 15s, baby. Yeah, it's all about working trial and error the first couple of weeks. But yeah, like Jackson, let's get into it. Oh, a tip I gave Jackson is you don't want to go too wide out because then you'll start involving your shoulders. You want to create almost like a triangle shape. So you want to come down to the side of your chest, like here and it keeps the tension all in the chest. You don't want to involve no shoulders. We ain't doing shoulders, we're doing chest. So, let's go, Jack.
Ah, this is a tough one for you. <laughs> this is a tough one. Okay, let's go to the dumbbells. Because maybe dumbbells. maybe this might be too heavy. Uh, okay, okay. Go on. Okay. How does that feel? Better? Better. Yes. Okay, can you feel it in your tricep? You need to feel it here. Yeah. Yeah? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Maybe you need to bend over a little bit more. That's it. Elbow tucked in. Extend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I like it. See? A little adjustment makes a big difference. There you go. So, we've got two more exercises after this. How are you feeling, Jackson? Good. You good, yeah? Yeah. You, you feeling nice? <laughs> feeling, feeling nice. Feeling I'm pumped? Feeling, yeah, I'm feeling pumped. I'm okay. Yeah. Really? I like it, I like it, I like it. That's the way he's pushing himself as well, which I like. He's just like, nah, I'm no beginner. I'm getting the shit done. <laughs> yeah, so like that, we got cable flies, and then we're going to do tricep pull downs with the machine and then we are done for today that means four exercises for each muscle group and yeah 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 let's get going so now we're gonna move on to the cable flyers um jackson just asked me a quick question about water he was like how important why is water important and i told him it's good to keep our, us hydrated and to keep our energy up um and obviously our bodies are made of 70 percent water so we need it because obviously it's like playing, like i told you playing football yeah, you see that whenever they have chance to go to the touchdown and get water, they run and get water because they want to stay hydrated. They have to keep the energy because it's like us. When I used to play football, and I wouldn't drink water for like forty-five minutes. Or for everything is dry, and I just be like, oh, I need water, I need water, I need water. You know what I mean? So, yeah. water, drink it as much as you can. Obviously, you don't want to go overboard to the point where you feel like you're floating, <laughs> but you want to drink at least, I say, two liters of water a day. Squeeze, nice. Okay. Now I want you to tilt forward a little bit. Huh? Move, lean forward a little bit. There you go. Squeeze. You feel it a little bit more? Yeah. There you go. There you go. This one up here. Yeah. There you go. You really feel this on your chest, right? Yeah. This is a really good exercise. One more. Squeeze. There you go. Really good? Yeah. You feel it? Yeah, yeah. And you feel it for the stretch, right? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When so I do like this, this the stretch is really much, yeah. That's it. Because yeah. this is the point. We want to get a full pec, you know what yeah, I mean? We really want to... Because the pec muscle, it goes far. It goes all the way up to here. Really? This is the whole pec muscle. All this... Up to here? Is, is the chest. This is all the chest. Yeah. A lot of people think it's just here and... Yeah. No, no, no. This is the whole chest. And you want to get uh, a big... You know, you want to fill this chest yeah. out. You want to... So, wow! You want to be like people who are like, oh shit, this got breast. And you're like, yes, I got them double D's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jackson just said you can feel it in his what right arm more than your left arm? Yeah, no, in my left arm more than my right. You can feel it in your left arm more than your right. Yeah, it's more okay. sore. My left arm. Your left arm's more sore. Yeah. That's because obviously it's your weaker arm, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. It's his weaker arm. And a good way to keep it get it balanced is by doing a lot of isolation work. Or you do the single arm. Uh, instead so of just... instead of doing both. Because sometimes when you do both, your right can be pulling all the weight. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, balance so balance them out, you know what I mean? That's why if you feel like you could do 12 on your right arm and then you do like 10 on your left arm, yeah. then when you do the exercise, start with the left arm. Okay. Whatever the left arm could do, you do it with your right. Because okay. at the end of the day, you want to balance it out. You don't want your right arm to be stronger than your left arm. You want to you try to get your left arm to keep up with your right, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah, so when you do exercises, since you've noticed already quickly that your left arm is weaker than the right, yeah. from now on when you do it like a single each each arm exercise, yeah. do your left one first. So it's the same with the dumbbells over here. Yeah, this one is my left yeah arm. your left arm gave up quicker yeah. than the quicker than the right arm. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. When we're doing like exercises where you can only use the one arm, do your left one first before you do your right. Whatever the left can do, the right do it does as well. Don't ever do more with the right one. Although it can, it might be able to do more. Yeah. Don't do it. But don't ever. Don't just do it because you want it to be balanced. balanced. You want that's the whole point. You want it to keep balanced, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. That's why some people when they flex, the right arm is bigger than the left arm. Well, well naturally, yeah. one arm is longer than the other, and you know what I mean, stuff like that. But with the balance, you can try and kind of kind of control it. Not hundred percent, but you want it to be almost the same. As much as you can. The big one? Or is it just to because okay. if you don't get your protein or that's it. That's, that's the answer right there. It's because okay. you don't get enough protein during the day. Uh, that's the that's the all them people that are buying protein shake because they think it makes them big. Yeah. Lies. That is not it. Okay. The key is it's a supplement, as in uh, meaning it is adding to what you have in the day. It's like me. Okay. I'm one. Of, I'm one of them people. I I don't like to eat six times a day. No, me neither. 
So I could have a protein shake yeah. two times a day, and I'll class that as a, as a meal. So I have like three meals where I actually eat chicken breast, rice, and stuff like that. Yeah. And I have another two protein shake. So that for me, that's five meals in a day. Uh, I have three, my breakfast, yeah. my lunch, and, and my did, dinner, yeah. which is going to be food, food. Yeah. And then the other ones, I'll take protein shake as my meals. Because I won't hit my protein just from the free meals. Yeah, yeah, if right. I need like 210 grams of uh, protein, yeah. and I'm only getting like, say, 160 grams from my meals, yeah. I still need another 50 grams. And that you'll get from protein shake? Protein shake. That's the only reason why people should be taking protein oh. shake. Fish oils and yeah. like vitamins and stuff is because they can't get it from food. That's from people that don't oh. eat fish that much. Okay. Like me, if I eat fish a lot, yeah. there's no need for me to take fish oils because I'm getting it from the fish. Okay, so what I should tell my mom is we need to eat fish and we need to eat chicken. You need to eat fish, you need to eat chicken, you need to eat beef. Yeah. Put it this way, the leaner the protein, the better it is for you because you don't want that much fat. Yeah, of course. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, of course, as a start, because me personally, I don't like um, the mince, like hagaku, that has uh, 4% fat. For me, I think it's too dry. Uh, I prefer having the one that's like 5 to 8%. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's just me. Yeah, if that yeah. means I have to cut my fat from other food, I'll do it. Just so I can get it more tender, more tasty, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Of so course. it's like little adjustments you need to make. But the whole thing with the supplements yeah. is only if you need it. If, like you, if you, you probably need around, I say 100, how, how much you weigh? Uh, 78. 78, so you yeah. probably need around 160 to 170 grams of protein a day. Okay. And if you can get that from food, you don't need to waste your money on this shit. Okay. That's just the honest truth. If you get your all your protein just from eating food, yeah. this stuff, don't waste your money because it's going to be a waste of your time. You're, you're, you're adding more protein to your food. Because which it's is, expensive as that's well. It, it's like, yeah. But if you're adding more protein to your diet, yeah. what is that? That's more calories that yeah, you don't true. need. And what's that going to turn into? It's going to turn into fat and you're yeah. going to put on weight. So protein shake, if you don't need it, don't buy it.